Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you are attempting to install Windows to another disk and that the selected disk has an MBR partition table and you come across this error message, today's tutorial will be for you. So please keep in mind, I have made a tutorial of this nature before and it appears that some people have a little bit of confusion. We are performing a clean install of Windows, meaning if there's anything previously installed on the drive that we're writing over that. So this is going to clean your files on here. This is a fresh install of Windows. Just want to put that right out front. Some people don't actually know what they're doing when they're trying to install Windows and they think, oh, it's just a normal Windows installation or something like that. But it's a little bit more involved than that. Anyway, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you're going to have to access the boot menu on your computer. So every manufacturer is a little different. You can go on Google and just type it in if you're unsure how to get to your boot menu. So it could be the escape key, F2, F4, F8, F12. It really depends. So if you're not sure, just go ahead and look it up for your individual computer. But we're going to go ahead and boot from our Windows installation media, which is installed on a DVD. So I'm going to go down and select the DVD or CD-ROM option in my case here. Please keep in mind, in your computer's case, could very well be different. But we're going to go select CD-ROM drive, so you might have a USB option. Go ahead and select that. And this is assuming you already have the Windows 10 Media burned to a DVD or a USB flash drive device. So go ahead and make sure you got that before you begin this tutorial. I've made other videos of that nature in the past before. And I'll actually have a video in the description below that will outline the whole process from start to finish. So I will make sure to include that in the description of the video as well. But we're going to go ahead and select the CD-ROM drive which is applicable for this tutorial. So we're just going to go ahead and select that. Press any key to boot from the CD. I believe it said it was pretty quick. I accidentally just pressed the key before we could actually look at it. But all basically was just saying is just press this key before we can boot from it. So pretty straightforward. Okay, so now you want to, after ensuring your language is correct here and keyboard input is correct as well, select the next option and now select install now. Okay, now that we are on the screen that says Activate Windows, you want to go hold down the Shift and the F10 key on your keyboard at the same time. So again, the Function 10 key and the Shift key. I'll have this up on the screen in the video as well, just this key combination. There's two keys at the same time. So again, the Shift and the F10 keys. So just go ahead and select that. Now that you've done that, you want to go type in Disk part, so exactly as it appears on my screen, so D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, hit enter on your computer. Next thing you want to do is type in list, so L-I-S-T, and then space disk, D-I-S-K, hit enter on your computer. Now at this point you want to go select, so type in select, S-E-L-E-C-T, space disk, so again D-I-S-K, and then another space, type the number zero. So if there's another disk number in here that's not zero, you want to select that. But we're going to go select this zero because that's the only one listed on here for me. So just keep that in mind. Might be slightly different for you, but this is where we're going to be installing Windows to. So we're going to select disk zero. Just keep that in mind. If you're unsure, perhaps you have a couple of drives on your computer and one you're using to boot Windows from. So maybe it's a little bit smaller, but it's a solid state drive and there's a larger hard disk drive, like a 500 or 1 terabyte size hard drive, 
you should be able to differentiate the two right through here in this column that says size. So the odds of you having two drives that are the exact same size are pretty small, especially if you know that you have two drives on that level, you probably know which drive you're looking to install Windows on, to be honest. So with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and hit enter to select disk zero. And it should come back with disk zero is the selected drive. Type in clean, so C-L-E-A-N. Hit enter on your keyboard, so we're going to clean the drive here. This is where we are deleting the existing contents of the drive, like I mentioned right in the beginning of the video that I really stressed. So this is succeeded in cleaning the disk, which is very good. That's what we wanted to do here. So we're going to type in exit, so E-X-I-T, hit enter your computer, should say leaving disk part. Now you can either just close out of this console window, or you just type in exit, whatever you prefer. And if you didn't see what I did, I hit enter after typing exit. Now that you've gone ahead and done that, you should be able to go and enter in a product key if you have one. Otherwise, select I don't have a product key if you're looking to activate later. Select the correct version of the Windows operating system you're looking to install and then go ahead and select next select I accept the license terms and then select next again and now like I was talking about earlier and I've already mentioned before if you try and select the upgrade option it won't let you because we are using installation media and we've just cleaned the drive as well so it would be pointless even if we could but we're going to go select custom install windows only and now we see that drive that we just cleaned here so drive zero was the number of the drive that we cleaned as you can see we selected drive zero back in the console and you're going to go select next here and it's going to go ahead and begin installing windows so a pretty standard procedure from here
Okay, so honestly, guys, you've been through the Windows installation process before, so I'm just going to um, end the video here. I believe there's really nothing special about this, and just installing Windows process at this point. So we've cleaned the drive; everything should be good to go at this point. So just go ahead and let it keep installing Windows, and you should hopefully have no issues going forward with anything else. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.